Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Guys, John Morant has been sensational. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. They're asking a lot of him, shouldering the load in a number of areas. You just hope he has enough left at the end. So the Grizzlies five right now. At the forward spots, it's Brooks and Jackson Jr. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. And it's Adams at the center filling out the middle. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam game. Here's Morant after the basket by the Lakers. Here's Beasley, Davis in the corner. Backed in off the glass. Davis has got seven points. And ten of their last 12 coming off assists. And they double up Morant. Pass to Jackson. Memphis moving that ball around. Brooks with it. He's picked up by James. And there's the three-second call. This one on the defense. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Shooting one. Shows the focus there, nails the technical. We know he can pass it. He's a tough defender, and Desmond Bain can shoot it from all over. Morant reaches to Brooks. No good on the triple. Lakers trail by five. Outside Davis. And finished off by Davis. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now here's Morant. He's got 16. In the corner, it's Bain. Morant outside. And another miss by Memphis. Lakers have gone 3-3 three three from the field since halftime. Beasley right side. And that one falls, coming off of Davis' feed. He has seven. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. They double him with the block on the Wayne Bain. Good on the three-point shot. And the Grizzlies lead by four. That was the first make of the half. One for four now. Let's see if that gets them going. Here's Russell. That shot is off. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Grizzlies have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming up the line at the break. Ugly start to this half, hitting just 20% from the field. Gotta pick it up. Passes it to LeBron. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Steven Adams picks one up. And LeBron used to getting hit. This is the level of attention this man attracts from the deep. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Taking two shots. That free throw, no good. I mean, one of the greatest players of all time. LeBron just continuing to add to his legacy. Jones checked in for the Grizzlies. And the second free throw, good. And here's Brooks. He'll bring it up for Memphis. They've led by as many as 11 points. Tries it from the top of the key. That one, no good. And the Lakers going the other way now. Davis kicks to LeBron. Back to Davis. Stolen by Brooks. In the corner, it's Bain. The Grizzlies with another miss. Well, he's got a paint stroke. That one almost dropped. Here's James. And the tuck by LeBron. The raw power of James. He excels at taking on physical defense and finishing. Memphis has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one to five here in the third. And it's Brooks in the corner. A three-pointer, no good. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. Memphis trailing here. 
pass to Jackson. With the drive. Sometimes with bigs, you prefer to send them to the line, but Jaron, he's a knockdown shooter from there as well. For Memphis, they have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. Jaron Jackson Jr. at the line for two. The first one falls. Then a shooter's checked in for Vanderbilt. And Memphis also making a switch. Aldama's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Russell passes to Schroeder. He kicks to Davis. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got three assists in the game. And for Memphis, they're shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. On the wing, Bain. Bain from the double team. Up and in on the way. Jackson's got 12. Good concentration by Jaron. A little contact on the shot. No problem. The feed to Davis. And the rejection by Jackson. Schroeder against Jones. To the inside. Jackson and the dunk by Jackson. Burning around the rim is just effortless for Jackson. He could play on my team any day. Picks it out to James. Over Bain. And with that shot, the Grizzly lead is cut down to just one on the basket from LeBron. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. Checked in for the Lakers. Give your Lakers youth and team a big round of applause. Here's Eldama. Five points in the game. Here's Davis. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Some scouts were surprised when Jackson's wingspan was measured over seven foot five. That's a huge number, especially when you talk about contesting shots. Now Schroeder calling Tyus Jones' three-point attempt. And it's Davis with the jam. Guys, what a back and forth game this has been. And it's already resulted in seven lead changes. Davis is getting it done tonight. Efficiently here from the floor. Six of ten so far. Outside Jackson. Three-pointer. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his sixth rebound on the night. Walker finds James. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. And it's a three-point Laker lead. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Jones with it. Outside Jackson. Pocket six. On the wing, Brooks. And another miss by Memphis. Not in rhythm. He had the two triples in the first half. None so far in the second. Here's James. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. Own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. And they've also played exceptionally well in the paint tonight. Taking advantage of their opportunity to work inside. To the paint. Here's Clark. And it's Clark slamming it down. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. Shooter kicks to LeBron. From outside the arc. And there's Shooter. That's good. The assist by James. Schroeder's got the lead up to seven now for the Lakers. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. 
outside. Bain. Clark sets a screen for Bain. Driving to the basket. Good work there as it goes. Bain's got six in the quarter. The range on Desmond Bain's stroke opens up a lot of driving avenues. Walker dishes to Schroeder. Back to Walker. He feeds it to Davis. No basket. That's his fifth miss in 11 attempts from the floor. Jones against Walker. Jones the pass to Clark. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Outside, Bain. Bain from the double team. Jones, no one around him. Off target with his three. Sometimes it's more about what the defense is doing on that possession. They were all over him on the ground. Go LeBron loves to keep his teammates in ball. When he's feeling it, like tonight, he'll call his own number. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Seven-point differential. And now called the Grizzlies. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout. He's checked in for the Lakers. Hachimura comes in for Malik Beasley. The Grizzlies also making a change. Morant. He's checked in for Kanar. Now here's Morant. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Here's Walker. Yes. It's James picking up the assist. LeBron's got five assists tonight. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Tillman passes to Morant. And finished off by Morant. I'm trying to think of someone who gets off the ground quicker than Morant. It's an exclusive list, I'll tell you. Here's Bamba and the dunk by Bamba. And in every since halftime, they play precision basketball offensively. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question they've settled in and executed brilliantly. Now here's Morant. 18 points for him. Bamba with the block. The main thing you get with Bamba, imposing defender, shot blocker, alters everything in the paint. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. 125 left to play in the third. Bain with the bucket. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's filling it. Los Angeles leading by seven. LeBron passes to Bamba. And again, it's the Lakers. He's still working on his jumper. But, but you can see Bamba has the touch to score from there. Here's Morant. And then Morant slams it in. As creative as they come, John Morant has a style that's specifically his. Inside, looking for Clark, and he gets it there. The shot comes out. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. One on one here. The 11 footer goes back up. And it's Morant missing. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of score. The drive by Schroeder makes that one his sixth of the night. A very healthy six for nine. As the lead continues to grow, this is just heady sound basketball. They have just nailed their halftime adjustments. That's for sure. They don't want to have to sweat this one out. They're looking to pull away. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. Schroeder kicks to Hachimura. There's the pass to LeBron. Just three on the clock. Oh, 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 oh. And 
So it's Los Angeles. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Let me tell you, when you can run offense through your bigs, you give the defense just another thing it has to try and take away. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. Jared Vanderbilt out there with LeBron James. Then it's Russell. And there's Mohamed Bamba, and it's Reeves in at the two spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. A big-time ISO player in college. Brooks has shown the ability to play off the ball at this level. And it's James missing. The Grizzlies trail by six. Now Brooks. Back to Moran. Off target from three-point range. Los Angeles has gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. And it goes down two points. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. And so Morant will bring it up for Memphis. Outside, Jones. And a miss there on the triple. And close to making the defense pay for the last coverage that time. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute point. And Brooks gets it to go. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Lakers leading by eight. Pass to Vanderbilt. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. Already one of the league's more creative assist man, Russell, making people around him better. With the step up. Pass to Jones. 13 feet away. Adam controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Here's Bamba. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Bamba's got the lead up to 10 now for the Lakers. Memphis has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Adams. And Adams with the slam. He's a power player. That's a grown man move by Steven Adams. James, the pass to Reeves. Grizzlies with the rebound. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. Jones for three. The Lakers with the rebound. Bamba's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they dug this hole. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Morant just to add it. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Los Angeles calls timeout. We need to drive up, get out, the Lakers, Lakers. Several teams changing it up here. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard the Lakers coach talk to his team. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys? Thank you, David. You look at how far AD's come offensively since his rookie year. It's pretty astounding. No good on that one. Okay. 
He hits the second from the line. The Grizzlies trail by nine. Jones the pass to Morant. Feeds it to Adams over Beasley. And Davis sends it back. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. The shot's good from Vanderbilt. And you know what? He's shaking off the cold shooting performance from the first half. And they double up Morant. Left side Jackson. Good. And the nice assist from Morant. Right there on that play, Jackson showed the nice touch and his ability to finish around the rim. Beasley trying to break free. Yep, that one goes in there. And the Lakers lead by 11. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. So Adams will go to the free throw line. That one on Davis. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Lakers leading by eight. James, the pass to Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. One of the cases where I failed to tell you the whole story. Here's Morant. And they double up Morant. It's Jones on the wing. Davis pulls it down. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. Fires the three, and James gets it to go on the assist by Beasley. Beasley's got his seventh assist here tonight. And here's Morant to the middle. Here's Adams, and Adams with the slam. I love watching Adams work like this. He's spilling it and dominate on offense right now. Russell dishes to Davis. LeBron passes to Davis. Vanderbilt gets a wide open look from outside off the mark. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. From deep, Brooks. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Brooks has got eight points here in this quarter. Hey, continue to stack it up from three. He's got two in each half so far. And it's Russell in the corner. James outside. Beasley kicks to James. Back to Beasley. Stolen by Brooks. And there's the call on James. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That's his fourth foul of the evening. He needs to be careful now. They can choose where to be aggressive. Timeout called the Grizzlies. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. Baines checked in for Jones. And it's sent back by Russell. Davis. He's looking for James and finds it. And the jump by LeBron. Great pass. We talk about 80s guard like skills. That includes his floor vision. On the pass to Bing. Another possession, another assist. Another possession, another assist. You know, Greg, he's sharing the ball well, hitting his guys in their spots. And James throws it down. Very athletic move by LeBron on the slam, showing the defense he still can be unstoppable. Here is Brooks. Rebound the Lakers. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. James and LeBron throws it down. Everybody knows that he is a relentless finisher around the rim. Now here's 
Morant. Pope loose and stolen by James. The feed to Davis. Score the basket. His eighth. Eight for 13 from the floor. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. And that'll be his third foul so far. Morant kicks to Brooks. And a wide open look for Payne. Back to Brooks. And there's the drive. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. The way Brooks gets by people, he varies the pace of his dribble to keep you guessing. Stolen by Brooks. Outside Jackson. And Jackson throws it down hard. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Grady lures them into a trap on the steal, and then bang, great to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Morant against Russell, and Adams with the slam. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. So finds Davis. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Here's LeBron. Makes it off the glass. LeBron's got 36. And how about LeBron's strength? Flexing on the deep up, powering through the contact. And finished off by Morant. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo! -wee. And the Lakers call time here. They're up by eight. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. minute 42 left in the fourth quarter of this one here's davis and foul on the shot so he'll get a chance at the line his fourth personal foul second team foul at the line for the lakers anthony davis it's the first that will put them up by nine And both free throws good for Davis. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for Memphis. To the inside. Beasley with the steal. Here's James. And James throws it down. He can do incredible things. He can also help you win by simply being reliable. 125 left here in the fourth quarter. Morant against Russell. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on D'Angelo Russell. You know, some of John Morant's sequences remind you of a young Derrick Rose. He's that explosive. That free throw missing. the three the rebound by Steven Adams and for Memphis they're shooting and hitting almost everything here in the fourth up around 58 percent from the field and game three will go in the record books here lots of energy out there tonight and an important win for the Lakers starting five must have been happy to get so much help from the reserves in this game and they not only lighten the load the subs did nothing less than guarantee a win and this really was a must win, not literally, but in an emotional sort of way. 
Yeah, I mean, anytime you're down 2-0 in a series like this, you cannot afford to drop that third game. It's basically lights out. With this win tonight, guys, this breathes a whole new life into this series. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for LeBron. You know what stood out to me was the anticipation defensively. He sensed what the offense wanted to run, then found ways to disrupt that and cause turnovers. Morant kicks to Kanawha. The Grizzlies with another miss. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Walker's shot is off. LeBron against Brooks. Down low. Here's Kanawha. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. To defend Kennard, you know he can hit shots with limited space. That helps him get you off balance. Shooting from the place. Luke Kennard taking two shots. First one falls for him. You know, there's always going to be room in this league for guys like Luke Kennard. He can shoot, he can pass it, and he can put it on the floor. And good on the second, so he makes them both. James looking around. And the layup's good off the glass. LeBron's got the lead up to 14 now for Los Angeles. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. Things were looking bleak for them, obviously, coming into this game. But with tonight's win, Greg, they are right back in it. And, and, and that's the fight this team has. That they don't care what the odds are. They are going to keep battling. And, and suddenly, we got a series on our hands. We sure do. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much, LeBron. In the fourth quarter, were you looking to be aggressive? Yeah, I just try to close the game out. You know, my teammates look for me in the fourth quarter to close the game out with my scoring and just my playmaking ability. So, uh, you know, to be able to go out there and come through for it means a lot. I know they're used to it by now, but I know you're still happy with the win. Congrats. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, LeBron James.